with ISSA Show North America comes the ISSA Innovation Award Program, and one of the entrants is Ice Cobotics. And I'm pleased to welcome Aaron Motley. He's the National Account Manager with the company. Hi, Aaron. Hi, Jeff. Thanks for having me today. Great to have you. Uh, let's talk about your product, uh, your entry in this Innovation Award Program. Talk yeah. about that and what it is. Sure. So uh, Ice Cobotics, uh, formerly known as Ice Robotics, uh, many of our customers know us as uh, Ice USA. So um, we started the Cobotics division to really emphasize what the machines we're building are, and that's Cobots. And the term Cobot uh, is short for collaborative robot, meaning that these machines are built to work with our teams um, and, and enhance and create efficiencies. So what we've entered in the uh, innovation category this year is our new Cobot named Kobe 18. So Kobe is a small purpose built uh, auto scrubber, autonomous auto scrubber, um, meant for uh, more dynamic spaces and, and maybe a little bit smaller spaces as well. So Aaron, I know there's a lot of autonomous robotic equipment out there. What makes this product innovative or even work on the sustainable uh, movement? Sure. So Kobe is trying to solve a few problems that we've seen in autonomous floor equipment um, in the past few years. Um, our, our real focus was to make it easy. Um, the form and the function um, needs to be uh, easy to adapt. It needs to be easy to teach. It needs to be easy to work with because in the end of the day, we're still depending on a, a human coworker to help this robot. So everything we did with Kobe was really focused on how it's going to impact the end user. So um, Kobe's innovation starts with its size. It's, it's built to be more dynamic, get in tighter spaces, um, make decisions a little bit better. Um, and we've been, done that through using a, a new sensor array of ultrasonic sensors layered over top of the traditional sensors. So the ultrasonic sensors give it a little bit of more in-depth and in seeing and high reflective, um, even in mirrored environments. Um, whereas in the past, uh, that's been a challenge for some of these robots. Some of the form that we've built around Kobe is, is really cool. Um, and I'd say this as part of our, our cleaning team and using the robot. So instead of having a, a fully in, uh, in, enclosed tank, the, the pail is removable on Kobe. So at two and a half gallons, three gallons, it's easy to lift out of the unit, get it into a slop sink, get it into those tight areas that we know our janitorial teams are working in. Um, and beyond that, that's one of the user functions that's really focused on the end user. Beyond that, everything is toolless. So from the brushes that we're using to scrub uh, to the squeegee assemblies, it's all toolless. It's actually, uh, we fitted some of the pieces with magnetic clips. So. Uh, there's there's no fasteners, there's no uh, readjusting squeegees. Uh, it's simply lift down, easy to clean out, and easy to to reassemble. Sounds great. Send one to my house. I could use that. You're you're there's a line ahead of you, but uh, I we'll, bet we'll put you on the list. So we were talking earlier. Uh, you know, Aaron and I are kind of neighbors, neighboring states. So it wouldn't be a big deal to for you to bring me one, Aaron. Maybe a lunch date in the future. Yeah, I'll be in Columbus next week. We, we can set it up. All right. So all kidding aside, um, and you talked about this a bit, but any more information on how this will impact the industry, maybe more so than what you've shared? Yeah. So I said in the beginning, Kobe is meant as, as a tool to help our teams out. So um, it, it's meant to go and remove the scrubbing task. It still needs filled, it need, still needs maintained by a human counterpart. Um, but our goal is to alleviate that scrubbing task from a person so that they can go focus on other things or just help in coverage uh, on an understaffed team to help make sure that, that we're meeting scope. And that's whether it's a, a contracted team or an in-house team that we're working with. We, we touched a little bit on sustainability in the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Kobe is really going to be a displacer of some mechanized equipment, but also uh, potentially a mop and bucket solution. Um, and with that, we're, we're able to use a lot less water than a traditional mop and bucket um, beyond the enhancement of actually removing the soil from the area with, with a recovery tank. Um, we're looking at two and a half gallons per run uh, with Kobe. 
about 10,000 square feet, which is, is really exciting versus a, a traditional mop bucket, six to seven gallons. So when you look at that at a single site, it is uh, less exciting. But when you think about some of the partners that we can engage with over tens or, or hundreds or thousands of sites, that can really make it an environmental impact. We're also using a lot less energy. So if we're going up against our traditional auto scrubber, um, about a kilowatt hour for a full charge versus about a two kilowatt hour. Um, and, and I failed to mention this earlier, but um, layered in on all this intelligence on the equipment, we actually have a back-end telemetry system called Ice Energy, uh, which has an enhancement called Clean Score. Um, so our users can input uh, metrics that they expect their teams to meet, and then they can view whether it's a, a national footprint, a regional footprint, or even a single site, um, whether the cleaning was done to their expectations and help them manage better uh, across the, the wide territory. And those easy to use consumables are actually all included in our subscription platform. So another way we're innovating is um, we're providing Kobe at a fixed cost. So you not only get the equipment, the software, the data, um, but you also get the consumable. So the squeegees and uh, brushes are included with the Kobe unit at, at a fixed cost for our customers. So everyone can see the Kobe information on the ISSA show website right now. That information is below in our video description. So um, take a look at the product. Aaron, great description of it. And we look forward to seeing it on the show floor in Chicago. Mm -hmm.